She says, okay, well, we can do this. <laughs> All right. We can do this. Uh, still in Happy Tales. They're fitting me well. Life is good at this end of the world. Um, this is uh, Tuesday morning, uh, my usual Monday since I have Mondays off. And we have this chicken in first thing in the morning. We have basically have a little bit of an impaction here. Not much. It's actually very soft and fluctuant. It is moving. It's not gotten any bigger over the last several days. And our buddy is still eating and pooping. So we are not blocked. Uh, on the cytology, we have tons and tons of large bipolar rods, bacteria, um, which are known for, uh, for their side effects and toxicity as far as endotoxins go. And I'm also seeing some budding yeast in there as well. So we're going to go ahead and send home some medication to help speed that stuff through and fight both those types of organisms. And chances are by this time tomorrow, I'm expecting that to be half its size, okay? In a perfect world, I want to sedate this girl and get her uh, um, gavaged, but at the same time, it's moving, so we can actually use that to our advantage and keep the, uh, the danger of the anesthesia being a problem. Um, other than that, so far so good. And Dad, I'd like to recheck her in about a week. Okay. okay, we'll get a swab in there. We'll make sure we get these organisms under control and have beaten okay. them, and then uh, we'll take it from there. What size cage does a single chicken this size need to be in? Um, you keep her in that, that thing right there. That'd be perfect okay. for a while. Keep okay. water and feed. And you got it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's it for now. Later.